He's going to get undazed very quickly now, so I'm going to try and hide in the bushes. That seems to have worked. Amazingly enough, I'm actually kind of surprised that that worked. Hello reformers and welcome back to Shadow of War and our Blade of Galandriel DLC playthrough. And well, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a while. That's just how it goes sometimes, unfortunately, but we are now back and, well, we're going to be fighting a captain very, very soon because I've just encountered one and that's the reason why I'm starting this episode a little bit earlier than I would have liked, but that's all right. Now, my plan for this episode is to hunt down the Serpent Tamer's gear. That's what I'm going to be attempting to do because I personally feel like poisoning everything in sight is a pretty fun idea. And so we're going to do that and then we're hopefully going to go and defend the fortress in Kirith Ongol. It really depends on how easy the captains are. And uh, this is actually one of them right here. So let's see if we can deal with him reasonably well. Yeah, as you can see here that he's already being a little bit annoying, isn't he? Alright, I'm just going to try and kill these guys off so that I can have a bit of a one versus one with this fellow. Okay, let's do this. There we go. And then I'm going to have to... Uh, I just hope he doesn't dodge. Oh, he's a dodger, isn't he? Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Okay, it seems like I'm going to have to use the other style of things, which is to just use the ring to, well, not the ring, but you know what I mean, the, well, it's technically Galadriel's ring, isn't it? So I, I suppose it, it could be, kind of. Okay, so there we go. I, th I think she has a different ring from what she took from Celebrimbor. I think so, at least. That could just be m me thinking that, though. Anyway, let's just try and do that. Oh, that was close. Okay. That was very, very close indeed. There we go. Nice. Okay, so yeah, the more he adapts, the worse things are going to get for me. So I'm going to just try and get a little bit of extra damage. Oh, and there seems to be a bunch of them coming over here and saying hi. Hello. Okay, let's see if I can do a little bit of... Oh, yeah. A little bit of extra damage there, but no. Definitely not. Definitely not. All right. Yeah, this guy could not be the worst one to come across, could he? Literally. And that's it. There we go. Wow, that was... That was real close. You know, it would make it a little bit easier if uh, an Eltariel was a little bit more in favor of branding and things like that. But obviously, yeah, I would have liked to have taken that guy, for example. He was just insanely cool. But anyway. Defeat Desolation and recover the gear of elves who came to Mordor before you. The Serpent Tamer's Dagger. This fetid, stinking land is choked with greed. We're here to burn it to the ground. Why have you come? Ah, no matter. We'll burn you too. Alright, so let's just take a look here. Okay, so he's vulnerable to execution and he's damaged by light. Well, that's fantastic. He is arrow-proof, poison-proof, frost-proof, beast-proof, and vigilant against stealth. He is enraged by executions as well. Really? So he's vulnerable. Oh. He's heavily damaged by executions, but he's not actually, like, super vulnerable uh, to it. This is not going to go well. Maybe I can do a little bit of damage like this. This is probably going to be my main source of damage, which I got to say is a little bit disappointing. I would have appreciated in, a, in this DLC for maybe a little bit of a different option. It's just that these guys have such insane immunities that it's almost impossible to get anything else going, you know? They're just way too damaging otherwise. I mean, technically what I could do is execute this guy now. Maybe it would be an idea. But then he's going to get enraged, so I'm not entirely sure if that's a good idea. But he is going to become dazed afterwards, I think. So I should be able to keep far enough away from him so that his enrage is going to wear off. And I should be able to just continue bombarding him with my light bolts. 
which is not the most exciting gameplay ever, is it? Ah, there we go. It seems like we got him dazed amazingly enough. I'm actually unsure how he became dazed because I actually triggered his enrage once again and then he became dazed somehow. Maybe it's because he cannot become enraged mm, maybe twice in a row. Maybe that's it. But that is it. We got him. Poisonous Dark Slayer. And he was a legendary, of course. Alright, so let's take a look at the Serpent Tamer's Dagger. Most of these, as you can probably tell, are going to upgrade from us killing something while, you know, they're poisoned. Anyway, as you can see here, the upgrade challenge is 0 out of 15 poison enemies. Okay, so basically, kill poison enemies while your health is below 35% without healing. Ooh. Oh, that's actually pretty awesome too. Your stealth attacks always apply poison. Hmm. Alright, let's use it. Let's use it. Now we have the two set bonus as well. Attacks have a 100% chance to inflict poison while your health is low. So, basically you get rewarded for playing very, very riskily, which I gotta say is kind of, uh, kind of a thing that we were using with Talion a little bit. Alright, so are we gonna go over for the bow or the cloak or the armor? I think the armor might be might be best but I kinda feel like the bow could be good so let's go and get the bow first alright here we go he is the earth salter uh, he looks looks pretty menacing this ain't how Mordor's supposed to be trees and, and bushes and creeping vines will rip it all down I will rip you down too Alright, so he is damaged by light executions and stealth attacks. That is good to hear because I would very much like to kill him with a stealth attack if we can because that is going to then mean that we might be able to upgrade our sword, I think it is. I think the sword actually gets upgraded by doing something like that so he can be killed by stealth, so that's nice. He does have great strength, however, which is going to make things much, much more difficult than I would have appreciated because, well... He's a crossbowman, so it's more than likely we're going to take a lot of damage from him. Anyway, so as you can see here, kill a captain who is poisoned, and our stealth attacks always apply poison. So, let's hope that we can actually get something going on that. Oh, you know, if I had known that I did not have beast armor, I actually thought I had beast armor, but if I had known, I probably would have gone... <laughs> Over to the uh, uh, hmm, body armor guy first, because we already have a pretty decent bow, as you can see here. But it doesn't really do amazingly versus any of the captains, unless they're a beastmaster, and I haven't come across any of those. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. He's got a gang of archers, so I'm going to try and take out his archers as quickly as I can. And then we'll have to deal with him by himself, which is perfectly fine. I don't mind too much about that. As long as we don't have to worry about multiples of these guys. Alright, so now we're, now we're going to go for a nice stealth attack if we can. There we go. Now he's going to be poisoned. That's fantastic. And he doesn't take any damage from poison, but that's okay, because he takes damage from stealth attacks. And that's all we want. That is all we want right now. That is actually not what I wanted to do, but all right. <laughs> we got our little wraith form to do a little bit of damage for us there, so that's not too bad. It's kind of amusing how I'm using this environment just to run around. This guy is not the smartest, is he? No, he's not particularly smart. So I guess we're just going to continue to do this, which is rather amusing in itself. I think we got this. I mean, we kind of have pretty obviously got this. Okay, let's see where he's going to come from. Okay, he's coming from here. If I can kill him with a stealth attack, this is going to mean that he should be... Uh, he's immune to poison, isn't he? So I'm not entirely sure whether we will have the... Uh, we probably won't have the upgrade for our sword because technically he doesn't get poisoned because he's immune. So, ah, that's a bit unfortunate, but we did... Well, kind of create a pretty amazing situation there. Anyway, enemies poisoned by grog barrels spread poison. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so let me see if I can equip this bow. 
And then we'll go to the body armor guy. I mean, I don't think there's anyone else close by. Uh, the, the rune, yeah, the rune is there, but I don't think I really want to do that. So let's go, let's go to this big guy, and he's going to give us the cloak. Now, the main reason why I'm doing this all is because most of these Serpent Tamer's pieces of gear actually do have pretty awesome, unique stats and kind of skill benefits. And so I'm hoping that we'll be able to find something that will give me an opportunity to just use that to overcome most challenges. So let's see what the Black Elm has for us. This fertile land hurts my eyes. We will burn every tree in Norman, but not before we fertilize the soil with your blood. All right, so, oh my. Okay, he has a glaring weakness, and that is soft-headed. Yeah, this is this is going to be pretty easy. So all I need to do is shoot him in the face. There we go. And I'm going to use this as well. But I don't think he is... don't think he's vulnerable to fire. Is he? don't think so. So that's not really going to make too much of a difference. Okay, I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here, get this gem, kill this guy. Because he's going to be annoying if we let him live. And then we can just deal with him. Shoot him once again. This is going to be very easy. Nice little execution there. Just continue. Luckily he's not enraged by anything, because otherwise he would go it, like, Oh, dazed, enraged, dazed, enraged. Oh, that would not be too good. And we got him. I Ooh, okay, we don't have him. We don't have him just yet. Wow, that was, that was very, very close, wasn't it? Surely this is the end. But not for me, chum! Ah, uh, he has death defying. Of course he does. Alright, so before we continue with this fight, I thought he might have death defying. Let's actually just take a look and see. Cause enemies to poison each other by vomiting. That is how I am supposed to upgrade my bow? Are you serious? That's gonna be pretty difficult, isn't it? Oh well, never mind. This guy was attempting to rejuvenate himself, but we will not allow him to do such a thing, obviously. I wonder whether I can just continue to shoot him. Maybe continuing to shoot him might actually make more sense than meleeing him. Does it do more damage? Maybe? Doesn't seem to really do that much more. So maybe I can just continue and we'll just get a nice execution. Well, that's what I call a good execution. Oh yes, there we go. We Now we got a cloak and let's take a look at it. Poison enemies within 10 seconds, oh, okay. Creates a light explosion when you are poisoned and recover all health after a successful stealth kill. Well, that is a ma massive upgrade from our previous thing, thank you very much. And we also now have the four set bonus. Orcs poisoned by you have a chance to spread the poison to nearby enemies. So I guess it would be a good idea. Hmm. Right, so we need to blind people as much as possible. So I suppose what it would be, you know, I, I guess I'm just going to go to the, the other two and uh, we'll get what we need to get. All right, here we go. The Dirt Feeder is our next target. And as you could maybe see in the previous cut there, Eltariel did level up and I have specced her into something that allows her Cone of Light to be much narrower but in a much more intensive beam so if I need to use it to infuse captains that are immune to most things with light to be able to use the light execution against them then I will be able to do that a lot easier you've been around Mordor enough to know it's a hard place but not here this place is so and anything or anyone so we tear it apart! Ah, Booball. Okay, so he becomes dazed after stealth attacks. That's actually pretty fantastic to see that. He is immune to light. And he has greatly increased health. Alright, well, let's let's see what we can do. Oh, he's arrowproof, isn't he? Alright, so how do we do it? Stealth kills. I think he's going to be much more difficult than the other fellow to get into a stealthy situation, so to speak, so not entirely sure I'm going to do this. 
So I guess what I'm going to do is get up here and see if I can kind of disappear. And then I'm going to try and get around him because that seems to be the only way I'll really be able to. He's climbing up there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and kill most of the people that are kind of trying to help him. And then we'll see what we can do. Okay, it seems like they're all up there. That is hilarious, by the way. I, I just think that is so funny how they are just like, Oh, hello, we've climbed the tower. Oh, we can do ground executions on him, so I suppose that's okay. But as you can see, his greatly increased health is making things much, much difficult. Yes. Much, much difficult. Very good. Alright, so I'm going to see what I can do here. I'm going to try and sneak around. I hope he can't see me. It doesn't seem like he can see me right now, but you never know. These captains are pretty sneaky sometimes. So maybe what I can do is... Yeah, look at that! He's going around the wrong way! That's fantastic. Okay, now do bear in mind that once I get the stealth kill on him, I'm going to have to... Oh no! Oh, that was close. Okay, that was very close. Yes, once I get the stealth on him, I'm going to need to do so much damage because if I do not, he's going to get out of that daze very, very quickly and murder me. So let's see if we can see if we can take him down. Yes. He's going to get undazed very quickly now, so I'm going to try and hide in the bushes. That seems to have worked. Amazingly enough, I'm actually kind of surprised that that worked. I thought to myself, yes, this isn't going to work, is it? But no, it actually did. Ah, he was immune to execution right at the end there. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, that's exactly the reason why I was just like, yes, he's going to murder me if I allow him to. And he certainly did. He certainly did. All right, so I'm going to have to lose his trail, so to speak, and then we're going to... He's enraged now, which is going to make things even worse. Okay, let's see. He's also fireproof, really? Wow, okay. So let's see if I can do something with him like this. Oh, he's coming up here. Oh, hello. He knows where we are. And he's very quick. Well, I'm trying, but it's very difficult when you're enraged like that. <laughs> he's like, just try it out, smart me. Yes, I'm attempting to do so. Oh, look at that. He's dazed. Oh, fantastic. Okay. I know that he's immune to this, but I need to get closer to him, so I, I guess this is the only way I can kind of do that easily. Okay, apparently there's a little bit of a hitbox detection problem there, and am I going to get killed? I don't know. I think I should be okay. But he is... Oh, no, no, really? He's dazed again? Are you serious? I am wasting so much damage time right now. All right, technically I could shoot him. Uh, could I, can I stealth attack? I cannot, but he's enraged by poison. So he is not immune to poison. Is he going to die from poison? That would be pretty amazing if he is. It's highly unlikely though, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like it is. All right, well, is he going to be dazed again? I, I assume he's probably going to be dazed after, yep, there we go. After he exits the enrage, then yeah, he is. He's poisoned. Okay, so is he going to die from the poison? He should be really low. There you go. All right, so that's nice. That means I might have gained... Yeah. Did you see that on the left side of the screen right there? I got a bit of an upgrade. Oh, yes. Got a bit of an upgrade. That's pretty fantastic. All right, so as you can see here, we now have the Serpent Tamer's Armor, which recovers 50 health per second while we are poisoned. It also gives us a 40% chance to gain full might when hit by an enemy. 
That is pretty cool. And the upgrade challenge is to kill a captain while we are poisoned. And look at that. That is a nice new look if ever I saw one. So, next time, we're going to fight the last guy and then we'll do the siege defense. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.